We're talking today about the CAPS project, the GB CAPS project, which actually is a small part, really, of our stat statistics project that we've been carrying on at the Hockey Museum for the last, well, pretty well 10 years since we started with a, an official home here in Woking. We realised early on that our sport didn't have any statistics that could be rel relied upon and this meant that uh, to be able to produce caps for people was absolutely utterly impossible. The most important thing was to try and create a record of all the hockey matches that have been played and as far as GB is concerned between the men and the women we're approaching a thousand matches so it's, it's a very significant job that we've taken on. So the real impetus got going about five years ago when we were approached by an enthusiast out there in the hockey world who said he was a statistician and slowly we put a team together um, with a couple of our uh, experienced statisticians. Uh, the first fellow was Steve Ellis and closely followed by Sue Lane who split the job between them men and women. Uh, closely behind that was Katie Dodd and myself both with a very keen interest in the subject and help helping to solve some of the unknown problems of matches that, that arose. Principal amongst those who have been helping us over the years had been Richard Leman and Sheila Morrow from Great Britain and from the player side sitting in on our meetings we've had Helen Richardson Walsh and Simon Mantell. And, and former GB player Simon Hazlitt, who has his own IT company, has been really, really helpful in this in developing a specific bespoke programme that enables us to interrogate the information that we've created expertly. It was originally considered that the first GB men's side was 1948, the London Olympics. However, we soon discovered that there had been a number of other outings by Great Britain teams uh, in earlier times. And the first real discovery was that the 1920 Olympics, which only the men took part in, was in fact a Great Britain team and not an England team, as had already always been considered. That really put a total new chapter into the history of Great Britain hockey and meant that those players that played in 1920 became the first ever Great Britain players. A not dissimilar situation arose for the women because although 1980 was the first Olympics at which hockey, women's hockey took place, um, we found out that the Great Britain and Ireland women's team had toured America in 1965. Additionally, once we started looking into the records, we found lots of anomalies and additions. Matches that had not been recorded properly or some matches which had been included which really weren't proper internationals. And so we had to go through these records and adjudicate as to whether games should be included or should be omitted. 581 is the magic number at the moment of people who have played for Great Britain as of 2021 and this is the cap that um, symbolizes what it's all about. Importantly the player number here which is the unique thing about this uh, exercise because had we not carried out this statistics operation we would not be able to give the player numbers something that international sports people do seem to cherish. Then you get the name of the player and their debut. Now because the players who are going to uh, Tokyo have still got a career in front of them, the third line is not here, which is their number of caps. So all the past players will have three lines on their caps, the third one being the number of caps that they, they won during their career. So that is the, the, the real end result of our project, if you like, to be able to present all of these players with a cap. It also fills us with a lot of pride in the team. 
to know that w these presentations are only possible because of the effort, immense efforts that have gone in to collating all of the records that we now have. So, yeah, um, being somewhat vain about it, we are very proud of what we've done. It's been an amazing project, all carried out by volunteers. Um, and uh, we've, we, we've created a legacy for our sport which previously did not exist.